Hi everyone. So let's discuss about the JSON encoding and decoding. So JSON is nothing but the key value pair kind of uh, you can say story. So anywhere or most of the time all those web API most of the time use this uh, uh, JSON as a format to transfer the data from one machine over the internet to the another machine. So mostly in a client server communication model mostly the JSON will be used as a web API. Now in this video we'll see how we can convert this uh, Dart programming language object into JSON format and again we'll decode it into original format. So let me just create first uh, JSON codec object. So we'll create one constant object like a JSON a constant JSON codec object and let's first create a data. So we'll create a list object of data. So let's say I want to put the value like 2 to 4, 2 to 3, let's say, or true. I want to keep like a null, or I want to put like a key value pair, like a, let's say. So key value pair, you can keep it inside this curly braces. Let's say name I want to keep. Let's say John. Okay, so we have created the data. Now let's use this JSON or encode uh, JSON encode matter which works on the top of this JSON variable. So JSON dot encode data, and let's just print it, or let me just assign it to the encoded data okay now let's just print two things first what is the data type of this encoded data so we are going to use this runtime type and another thing we are just going to print encoded data so this encoded data will looks like exactly this particular object only but it has converted into json string so with the help of this runtime uh, attribute we'll get to know about it what is the data type of this particular encoded data so let me just run it so you can see it's a string in nature but we have earlier passed it this particular as a list object now let's just decode it and see so we are going to use the same json dot decode it now here we'll pass the string because this is already a string encoded data so encoded data let's just assign it to the decoded data and same two print statement we are going to use it so decoded data now data looks like the same but the data type will be different so now you can see it's a list in nature and the data it has pasted is exactly similar but in case of list it has painted like a name and john but no uh, quotes but uh, in case of string it has printed like a quotes so this is the json representation of our actual list object and this is a list representation of the encoded json data okay so that is all about the very basic and a brief introduction behind how to do the json encoding of your input data and how you can retrieve with the help of this decoded matter okay so that's all about this video see you into next video